नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज योर गोविंद राज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन दिस सेशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बिकॉज द एपिडेमिक इज स्प्रेडिंग वेरी फास्टर एंड इट इज आल्सो द इंडस्ट्रियल एम्प्लॉयज आर आल्सो गेटिंग अफेक्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एंड डे बाई डे यू आर सी मोर एंड मोर केसेज बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन इन इंडस्ट्रियल सिचुएशन सो एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी प्रिपेयर विद एन आंसर or uh, some of you are already uh, finding an answer for this and uh, handling this situation the question which i am talking about is whether employer is uh, mandated to provide paid leaves if any employee gets affected by covid-19 or not is there any legislative provisions or is there any government order we need to know from the employer points of view and from the employee's point of view if you are watching you also need to know whether you get a paid leave if you get affected uh, by covid-19 uh, disease or epidemic so these are the important questions which you need to be aware to manage the situation or to balance the situation if your employees gets affected by covid-19 so we are going to address uh, this topic in this uh, discussion today so let's uh, get into the details uh, more about it and find an answer and be prepared uh, with the answer for this situation so let's see the details friends so we will take it up uh, the first the, uh, the employees who are covered under esi see if the employees are covered under esi esi will provide uh, treatment as well as uh, esi leaves or sickness benefit and uh, the esic is also mandated the treatment even in empaneled hospital as well so these are the some of the circulars which i have uh, got from the esic uh, office and also their website so they have already mandated that uh, even the empaneled hospitals also should provide the treatment for covid 19 affected employees so these are the notifications and the circulars which they have issued now uh, important topic for us is to know how about uh, non esi employees how do we deal with uh, such employees and if, if we look at uh, the legislative provisions so employer is not obligated to provide paid leaves for covid 19 affected employees unless he is mandated by any government order and which is backed by legislative provision so therefore considering this uh, situation he will have different options one is we can adjust to leaves of employees whether it could be casual leave you know earned leave or you know sick leave whatever it is so whatever the balance is available so then the leaves can be adjusted another option you could think of is allow towards future leaves if uh, any employee earns in the future so these leaves also can be think, uh, thought to adjust and the third option could be we can also allow them to go on leave without pay and if he is uh, kind enough and generous he can also provide uh, paid leaves uh, for uh, his employees to manage this situation so these are the options we find and uh, we need to know also um, the legislative provision is there any mandate from government by way of any notification orders so this is also important for for our discussion to know and uh, if you know already few states have issued orders for uh, paid leaves that means the employer is required to uh, provide Uh, paid leaves in case any employee gets uh, affected by uh, covid-19 now one of such order is uh, nayado administration has issued an order for 28 days uh, paid leaves which is applicable to shops factories and other industries and in the case of karnataka government uh, the karnataka government has also issued an order notification for 28 days uh, leaves for employees working in shops and establishments so it's not applicable to every uh, employee working in uh, uh, manufacturing industries so it is only applicable to shops and establishments and uh, for any in your state you need to check if there are any orders issued by your uh, states and accordingly so you have to be prepared with uh, to manage this situation and this is the karnataka state order which uh, i have got it which is uh, you know on uh, march itself 5th uh, march 2020 this notification this uh, notification is issued under the karnataka shops and commercial establishments act 1961 so this order is issued under section 15 3 of karnataka shops and commercial establishments act 1961 so as per uh, this section they have issued this notification so let's see what is section 153 talks about it section 153 says every employee shall also be entitled during the first 12 months of continuous service and during every subsequent 12 months of such service in any establishment to leave with wages for a period not exceeding 12 days on the ground of any sickness incurred or 
accident sustained by him or for any other reasonable cause so this is what section 153 talks about it so this notification uh, gives raise to lot of questions like for example if this uh, this section talks about in any period of 12 months 12 days sick leave have to be provided suppose what happens if any employee is already exhausted this leaves in his case what needs to be done and does the government has the power to issue such a notification using executive power because this is a legislative power then we will have to look into the law especially shops and commercial establishment act so whether is there any executive power to issue such a notification and does it amounts to excessive use of power this question also comes to our mind so these are all you know subject to legal interpretation and further consequences you will have to get into um, these details uh, for further study however considering the current uh, situation and the difficulties of employees and it is best suggested to follow the order and uh, if you want my view on this whether uh, the government has the power to issue such a notification using executive power or does it amounts to excessive use of power to know my views you can always uh, try to reach uh, me on my mobile or on my email so i'll be able to provide my views then what happens uh, in the case of other uh, employees especially uh, factories and other than shops and commercial establishments so there are no such orders as far as factories act is concerned it talks only about uh, uh, only it, it doesn't talk about even the sick leave so therefore there are no orders applicable for other than shops and commercial establishment employees so therefore uh, it is left to the employee as i said uh, he will have four options to go ahead yeah either he can pay or he can also adjust it, adjust to the leaves already in the balance or he can also allow employees for future leaves or employees are also allowed for uh, leave without pay these are all the options you know employer will have in case of uh, establishments other than shops and commercial establishments so there are some connected issues also so the connected issues when uh, uh, you know employees get affected by covid 19 and normally the district administration will get into picture and they will come and they will do the contact tracing and many of the employees gets quarantined in such a case uh, you know how how to deal with uh, you know if any employee uh, is isolated or quarantine him to you know go for a quarantine so how do we deal with this quarantine period Uh, is there any um, you know guideline or employer is mandated to give this question is also we need to un you know understand in case of employees even though there is no uh, regulatory provision to uh, cover this quarantine period i also had a discussion with some of the esic officials with a discussion and a request so even uh, the you know esi also will uh, agree for coverage of uh, quarantine period or isolation period also even the you know, even the employee if he has not got affected by covid 19 even his report is negative and the district administration made him to go for a isolation or quarantine period in case of non esi employees uh, there is no such thing so it is left to the employer's uh, prerogative as i told in the previous slides uh, the employer can resort to four options and the employee will have to agree for those uh, options so this is how we uh, deal with this uh, situation so friends so far we talked about whether employees are eligible for pay, paid leave in case if they get affected uh, by covid 19 or not and uh, you know what are the connected questions so if you want to have any uh, feedback or comments you can always try to reach with me uh, my coordinates are already provided here you can always write to me uh, thank you very much for watching this video and stay connected i am signing off at the moment and i will be back with a few more new uh, information and uh, new knowledge sharing thank you very much and see you soon friends